Anyways, that was my little talk of the night. I should probably shut up now and go to bed. Hello guys, so I'm back again. It's me, Allie, for a nighttime routine. I have a lot of things to do tonight and I found it that I'm more productive when I get to just talk forever and ever and actually get stuff done. So that is what we're doing today. And here's my mirror. I just want to talk about it for a second. So right here I have all my weightlifting medals. I have four right now, but here they are. And then we have some stickers. This is what's us in Tennessee. This is from camp. This is what I got. And then um, Aloha, more Hawaii stickers because I'm gonna move there. And then here's me and Maddie. And then this is also from camp. And so is this. And that's just something I wanna talk about. And this new shirt I got today from Ari. But I have a lot of things to do tonight. It is Sunday, so this is a little Sunday reset to start the week fresh and good and ready. So basically, this is our first real Monday of the school year because we started school on a Wednesday because I don't know why Florida does that, but it does. So this is our first real Monday, which means it's like we're actually starting real school now. Like we know our classes and everything, but now we're starting like real school. So I have to set up my backpack with everything I need because right now it just has like a little bit of stuff but I don't have everything for every single class so I'm gonna do that right now here is my football manager clothes because I'm a football manager and this Friday is our first like game our first football game I think it's away it's like a preseason game I'm pretty sure so yeah we have some a track suit so we have the pants and the zip up we'll probably wear like some of our clothes to school on friday so this is the zip up it's just like nike and it says football and then we have a long sleeve and we also have a short sleeve but it's not here right now but there it is so it's a little haul that we got from our football coaches so anyways right now all i have in my backpack is a folder that's holding all of like my papers that i did this week so basically if you guys remember like my what's in my backpack for my sophomore year go check it out if you haven't watched it i got this five subject notebook that you can like move the dividers so basically i only need three dividers for here what i'm using it for is first section so this little gray section right here is driver's ed the second section right here is my like English class, but it's like basically she was like get a composition notebook and it's gonna be like free writing. So she's gonna give us a prompt and we just have to write about it. And she wanted us to get a separate notebook for that, but I'm just gonna use a separate section for that. And then this is my section for like my regular English. So that's what's all gonna be in here. And then she also wanted a folder for that class. So this is the folder I'm gonna use for that class, but right now it just has like stuff for every class. And I have my binder, not my binder, my agenda, which I have like my schedule and stuff in. But I got these uh, little notepads from Target that I put in there because I needed like more space to write. Basically, I made a little list of all the school supplies that I needed. My U.S. history teacher, not my U.S., my world history teacher, she says she doesn't care about the size of our binder and that we can share with another class. But my algebra 2 teacher is like, you need a 2 inch binder and she hasn't been at school so i'm meeting her for the first time tomorrow and i don't know if she's gonna rec like require it to be like a one subject only binder or if i can share it because i would love to just share it so i wouldn't have to like you know like bring two binders because that's a lot of work um i need a big notebook for biology so here will be my big notebook i don't have to bring both of the notebooks so i think i'm just gonna bring the white one and leave the gray one so I'll just like use this for next year. Okay, so that's actually not too bad. I thought I was gonna need two of the big notebooks, but I guess not. I don't know how I calculated that wrong. So for my binder, I need to go get the loose paper and dividers. I'm gonna go find my leftover supplies from last year. I found them. So basically, after I set up my backpack, I'm gonna go put the oils in my hair because if you watch the nighttime routine before the first day of school, I did oils in my hair and then I washed my hair and I haven't washed my hair since that day. So it's been like five days. Actually, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so yeah, it's been six. So I'm gonna go do that now. So I actually had a composition notebook, but I'm not gonna use a composition notebook. I'm just gonna use that little section of my book. I have two packs of loose paper plus my notebooks that already have loose paper in them. But I cannot find the dividers that I needed. But anyways, I think I'm just going to use the blue one. I'm going to take a pack of paper 
for both of my binders. I'm gonna put oils in my hair while I clean my room because I have a bunch of clothes that I have to put away and then wash my hair, get the rest of my stuff ready for school tomorrow. So anyways, I'm gonna have to have dinner in a second, but I'll do that later. I'm gonna check that in here. Stop moving. Emily! What? Do you not have more? I do, I have to get them. Okay. So she's gonna get the rest. I don't know if I need any for math, so I have to check that. But I'm gonna put the rest of the paper into my math one. Thank you. So I got these. We're setting up our hair binders and everything tomorrow. So for now, this will work. Let's see if it'll all fit. But it's obviously not perfect, but it's good. And I'm just gonna have to bring my lunch not in a lunchbox. My Threads wallet lanyard comes tomorrow, apparently. Allison, yeah. Do you have any index cards? So. Maybe in mom's office. Okay. So I'm gonna go put the oils in my hair and then I'm going to clean my room. So let's do that. Something I need to remember to do. Um, basically, I'm taking a weightlifting class and we're required to dress out this year. So I need to remember to pack an outfit. I need to shave my legs because we will be dressing out tomorrow. <laughs> so I need to do that. Oil time. I do this before every wash of my hair because I want it to grow. This is the length right now, and this is the color right now. The color isn't my favorite, but I don't want to add anything to my hair. So I'm just letting it do its thing and do whatever it needs to do to end up how it wants to, you know? So I've been using this one consistently, and I like it, so we're just gonna keep using this one. So we just apply it to the scalp. If you guys haven't watched me do this before, I just put it onto my scalp. And I just literally drench it. And then I leave it in for like about 30 minutes. You can leave it in for however long you want. Sometimes I sleep in it. I did it during the summer where I slept in it. But I don't like to shower before school. So that's why I don't sleep in it anymore. I'm going to go in with this castor oil, no, argan leave-in conditioning spray. Now I'm just going to spray this into my hair. Into like my tips. And it's supposed to be like leave-in conditioner. Like, I'd probably use this if I went to the beach. Like, I'd bring this in my beach bag to, like, make sure my hair wasn't, like, super dry. But definitely not, like, if you just want to use it on your hair. Like, it makes your hair super oily. And it's not good for, like, daily use if you want to keep styling it after. Unless you like your hair oily, which I don't. So now I'm going to use this 99% scalp care hemp hair oil. I've been using, like, the same routine the past like two three times so i'm hoping that the consistency helps and i've gotten gone on like the schedule of not washing my hair every day or like every other day i go like a couple days kind of a lot of days because on the weekends i don't really care what my hair looks like unless i'm going somewhere like this weekend i didn't really do much i just i went in the pool and stuff so i just let my hair be dirty until today so that's like what i've been doing for that but this one's 100 percent pure castor oil basically last year and like literally like for the past i don't even know forever i wash my hair like every other day so i wash it monday it'd be clean tuesday and wednesday and then i wash it wednesday night so it wasn't like super good and i just like heard that like washing your hair every day with shampoo and stuff isn't very good for it so since the start of summer i've been trying to like train my hair to not need to be washed every day so it's gotten to the point where i can go i literally went like five days since school started so it does work and it's good but i'm gonna use this biotin because pro growth hair oil so i just literally just put a bunch of oils in my hair because it doesn't damage it and it doesn't make my hair oily either like obviously right now it's oily because i'm applying it straight to my hair but after I wash it, if you double shampoo it, then it's fine. And it doesn't become, like, it doesn't stay super oily. So I just do that, and then I just massage it into my scalp. And I'm going to brush it through, and I'm going to put it in a hair clip. And I'm going to leave it like that for about 30 minutes. And, yeah. And I've just, I've seen a difference, truly. Like, I also don't use as much heat in my hair as I used to, like, at all. So the only heat, I used this one on the first day of school. I used the wand, like it's like a brush, and I used it on low, and I liked the way it turned out. Like my hair was just straight, and it stayed pretty straight for like two days. So I kind of liked it like that. 
So I might do that again, even though I don't want to apply heat to my hair. It just kind of controls it and it makes it stay like looking nice. So I'm going to, right now I'm going to use this. It's a wet brush and I'm going to just go through my hair and brush it out. And now I'm just going to put my hair in a clip and go on and do all the other things I need to do. And I'll just show you guys the before and after because the rest of this is a little boring. I'll probably just watch some YouTube while I do this. But basically, I just need to clean my room a little bit. It's not super messy, but I have a bunch of clothes on here that I have to put away. And I'll be back when I, like, gonna shower. And I'm also gonna be back when I pick out my outfit for tomorrow. Because that's gonna be super fine. But right now, I'm gonna put my hair in a clip. I'm gonna put some YouTube on and finish in my room and i'll be back it's currently 8 30 so i'll be back at 9. all right guys i look insane but basically i'm trying on outfits for my gym class for my weightlifting i don't even have to actually work out because i'm a football manager as i said so basically i don't have to work out so i'm trying to find shorts because she's like super strict so she doesn't want us wearing like inappropriate shorts so i'm i literally was like looking for the biggest pair of blue lemon shorts that we owned and these are well actually there's those pair which are like a size eight but those ones are way too big these ones i think these are like a size six or something they look like this i think they're like okay because like my butt isn't out and i won't even actually be working out but like i think these are fine and i cut the little band out so they'd be loose so i can like you know pull them down or anything but i think i'm gonna wear a school shirt instead of this one i'm gonna bring my school shirt and then i'll just bring these shorts and i picked out my outfit for school tomorrow it's 8.54, so I'm going to be taking this out soon. But basically, these jeans that I bought today at PacSun, they're just this color straight down. And then this striped shirt that I also got from PacSun has a little bit of makeup on it, but it's okay. I also have to bring this tomorrow as well, so my backpack's going to be pretty packed tomorrow. But I'm going to take this out of my hair now. I'm going to wash my hair, and I'll see you guys after that and eat dinner after I shower. So I am back, and I have my hair in the shirt that I was last wearing. Cause like I once heard that like 100% cotton shirts are better to dry your hair with. I don't know. I just do these things even though it probably does not help that much. But anyways, my skin is like not its best right now. But I'm going to go eat dinner. And I'm going to pack my backpack. Pack all the clothes I need to pack into it. And then go to bed. So let's go get dinner. It's just rice and ground beef. So I'm not going to show you that. And then I'll come back for my little finishing touches of the night. And yeah. Okay guys, I'm back. I ate my dinner and it was so, so good. I had rice, ground beef, and banana. So now I'm putting eyelash serum on, which I am not as consistent I I used to be with this. Ooh, my forehead's itching. But I, my gosh, why is my forehead itching? But I used to be super consistent with my eyelash serum, like literally every morning, every night. And I used to put castor oil. But I still have the castor oil. I use it so much that this is how much I have left. Which this is not easy to like run out of. But I don't use it as consistently anymore. Why is my forehead itchy? Like it's so itchy. <laughs> I look so stupid. But anyways, I am pretty much now ready for bed i'm going to let my hair dry a little bit more it's currently 9 42 right now once again i want to be in bed and sleeping by like 10 30 my bag is all packed i brought my mom my lunchbox with my my thermostats so that she can clean them for tomorrow but my bag is all packed this is what she looks like inside oh my gum fell out but my two binders all my notebooks and all that hopefully that is all enough and hopefully that's all Good, but I'm really hoping that I can just share a binder because I really don't want to have both of them in there Hopefully that's the case and my thread wallets are supposed to come tomorrow and I got one for Uriel And he doesn't know that yet, so I'm surprising him with it So he will see that tomorrow, but right now I'm going to put all the rest of my clothes in my backpack Because I have a lot to put in here. This is staying at school though, so I only have to bring this this once and uh, then they'll just stay there i'm pretty sure hopefully because we got like a locker to just put them in there this has holes in it but i'm not even working out so this is just because the football coach was like um i don't want the other girls asking why you guys aren't dressing out so you guys have to dress out so that's the only reason we're dressing out because we're not really working out Let's just have this all wrapped up i'll put this here in the corner 
And then for tomorrow, I just got this tank top today. And I think it's super cute. And when I say this every time. It's a joke, but it's not a joke. I'm going to Hawaii for college. And these are like the school colors. So, yeah. And it's also my favorite color. So, I just got this tank top. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring my Lululemon shorts. Because after school, she lives near um, some places that we can walk to to get food. So, we're going to walk. And I'm going to wear the tank top. And these shorts because it is a very hot outside and I want like the sun to like give me a little bit of a tan. And then I'm bringing these big shorts. They're kind of like just like beach shorts for campaigners, which is Bible study pretty much. So I'm bringing that. Wrap this up like this. And that's pretty much that. I'll probably just put this on the top right here. And then I'll put my food right there. But I don't know if this cloth thing actually works. Like we're using a shirt as a thing. But here's my hair right now. We're going to brush it out. That is pretty much it because I'm going to try to go to bed. I have to go put like my towel back in the bathroom. But I'm going to get in bed now. Put my bonnet on. Turn off all my lights and get to bed. And yeah, that was my Sunday reset because I really needed to do all those things for school tomorrow. So there's like my little motivation. So if you guys have a bunch of things you guys need to do and you're just like, I don't want to do it, put on music or like, if you like talking how I do and your way of getting motivated is by just talking, talking, talking and rambling, start a YouTube channel. Like you won't regret it and maybe you'll get made fun of at school, but just literally go for it because I've got made fun of so much. Like I get so much hate and you think I care? No, I don't. So you shouldn't either because why should somebody's opinion affect you? Because you don't know them. And even if it's you do know somebody and it's like personal, like you go to school with them, like seriously, just ignore them because it's, it's like your life. You only live once. So just go for it. And if you like rambling like me and you like making like stupid nighttime routines like this one, just do it because somebody out there will like to hear you talk like some of you guys watching like to hear me talk which i don't know why because i hate hearing myself talk but some people do and i love to talk so i provide and you guys just literally like i watch people like i watch like hannah maloche videos all the time and i just put them on while like i'm coloring or if i'm like showering stuff like that i just put them on for background noise and it's just super calming because i just like hearing people talk and I like those like super simple types of videos like just like a Sunday reset or a day in my life like just simple videos like that I really enjoy so if you are debating starting a YouTube channel and you're scared literally to, in today's like society and like what we live in right now it's so normal so just do it because you never know where you end up like you might be the next like Hannah Maloche and she's living the life obviously her life is not perfect but She's here like traveling every place. Like you never know if that'll be you. So anyway, that was my little talk of the night. I should probably shut up now and go to bed because I have a long day ahead tomorrow. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys love hearing me talk, subscribe and like this video. Doodles.